In 2019, the UN Climate Action Summit took place. The purpose was to address the increasing concerns and real problems surrounding climate change. Before this, in 2015, arguably the biggest agreement was reached on climate change issue in Paris at COP21 Climate Change Conference. These global agreements have had an impact on the construction industry and its practices due to the sector being such a large contributor to carbon emissions. Key points coming out of the conferences included acknowledgement that action must be taken against climate change based on the scientific data that is widely available which evidences climate change being an urgent threat. The importance of conserving greenhouse gas sinks Sinks in this context refer to things such as soil, sea and plants which store carbon dioxide. Being more widely responsible and contributing to public awareness, education and training about climate change. Understanding that producing goods and services sustainably will help to address climate change and can make a real difference. These conferences, along with other global incentives and agreements, have led to clients seeking construction work include a much larger emphasis on environmental questions and considerations than in the past within their tenders. This is even more pronounced for construction projects in the public sector as councils and other government bodies have an even greater emphasis on considering and delivering sustainability targets. It is now commonplace for construction tenders to seek companies who are able to show evidence of mitigating climate change through their practices, procedures and policies, and be able to provide sustainable and economic value both at contract acquisition and throughout every stage of the project life cycle. This clearly impacts the way in which construction companies and contractors must set up their businesses and carry out their works, operating in a way that meets the goals of the client. There are a number of ways that construction companies can try to meet sustainability objectives. Bid managers and estimators and other construction professionals who work on tenders for construction companies must then be able to evidence and prove the practices and innovations that the respective company implements to help deal with climate change. These include reducing waste by using recycled materials, minimising packaging and using sustainable disposal methods, all of which could be evidenced and examples provided within a tender if asked for. Using sustainable building materials where possible, such as bamboo, recycled steel and certain types of wood. Material assessments could then be included within the tender response that cover embodied carbon calculations and alike. Implementing green building practices within building designs where possible, such as rainwater harvesting, green roofs, solar panels and LED lighting. Reducing carbon emissions. Construction companies can do this by using eco-friendly transportation, thereby reducing the use of fossil fuels. This practice can be assessed and clear facts and figures presented within a tender where necessary of carbon emission assessments versus traditional modes of transport. Construction companies can collaborate with stakeholders such as suppliers and local communities to promote sustainable practices. Such policies could be presented and used within a tender and clearly evidenced. When writing responses to sustainability and carbon emissions questions, it is vitally important that they are measurable and solid facts and figures can be presented. Clients will very often be able to see through companies who do not have solid policies and procedures in place and try to answer the questions with vague and ambiguous claims of their desire to really reduce the impacts on climate change. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.